Pixel 404 here. Today I'm making a video on how to recover data from a dead laptop uh, without removing the hard drive or like having another computer. So what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to get a USB drive with a Windows 10 boot um, file on it. So you can just get this from the website. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Uh, it's not focusing, but that's okay. I'll leave a link in the description, and then what we're going to do is we're going to want to plug this into the side of our computer here. This computer's been taken apart so many times that the USB part ports aren't really aligned. I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to power it up. You can see it's powered up. Uh, so I'm going to click F2 to get into the setup. If it decides to work. Yes, and then I'm going to enter my password. So this laptop is an old laptop I had that died forever ago. Password fail. Uh, I had that died forever ago, and a few weeks back I decided, you know what, why don't I try to fix it? Wasn't able to get any files off of it because before I I had corrupted all the files previously. But so here is uh, here's our BIOS. So we're going to um, go to boot, and we're going to change the priority. So over here it says F6 to move it up to the list. So what we're going to do is we're going to click F6, that'll bring our USB up to the top, and then we're going to go over to Exit, Saving Changes. Now this will only work on Windows 8 or 7 PCs, so now once this is loaded, uh, we can choose either one. I'm going to choose 64-bit because that's what this computer's architecture is, as far as I know. And once we're done loading here, you can see we have the activity light on our drive here. Alright, so now we're booting into the Windows setup. And this is also how you can repair your computer if it is not working. It's similar, uh, it's a similar process. I will show you that process as well in a different video. As you can see, it's snowed outside, which is pretty amazing. So, yeah. So now, once we're here, we're going to uh, select our language. Oh, just let that change. So we're going to select our language, time and currency, and our keyboard input method, and I'm going to click next. And from here, do not click install now, because this will erase everything off of your computer. So you're going to want to click repair your computer. Once you're here, you're going to click um, troubleshoot. And you're going to go to command prompt. Once you have command prompt open, you're going to want to type in note pad. Sorry, I'm typing real slow. I'm going to click enter. Oh, enter. So once you have notepad open, uh, you're going to go into file. Open. And at this point, you're going to want to take a second USB of like a large um, capacity. This is 32 gigs. And you're going to want to plug this into a different USB uh, port here. And then from here, uh, you're just going to go to, you might want to go to library, like you're going to go to libraries. I'm just going to want to change this to all files first. You're going to go to libraries, and then there's nothing, there's not going to be anything there. And even if the libraries do come up, like here, you double click them, nothing happens. So what we want to do, uh, going to want to do is go into this PC, go into local disk, and here are all your files. So this, it says Dell. But this is an old uh, Acer laptop. But I took the hard drive out of an old Dell. So you're going to want to go to either, you want to go to users, Jake. And then here are all your files. So in your downloads, this computer I just refreshed and I haven't put any files on it yet. But this is where all your files would be. And then from there, so I want to see if I can find a file. Well, I don't think I can because I have nothing on here. But I'll just go into my Windows. Uh, and I'll go, and I'll just show you. So you're going to want to right click. I want to click send to and then your USB name. Mine's called, just called Black Jake because it, I own it and it's black. Once you click that, I'm not going to do that because that'll completely screw up my computer. And I will do that with the windows.old um, program files. Let's do AVG, sure. So I'm going to go send to our USB drive, not to our ESD-USB because that is this one that we're running off of. We don't want to send anything there, so you're going to click Black Jake or whatever the name of your USB is. Click enter. 
you're going to see your light starts flashing. And while this is doing anything, you can't click on anything. Or, uh, like, anything at all. And then, so, you can do that for all the files you want. You can't, you cannot do the control and select a bunch of files. You're going to have to go one by one. Uh, but you can select libraries, like, entire folders at a time. So now this is done. You can see we've stopped flashing. And now we can move around and select other, um, other files. So then once you're done there, you just want to exit. Exit again, and close that out, and then you can just turn off this PC. Once that's done, you can remove your storage USB that you're using, and your boot USB. And we're just going to close this and move this out of the way. I'm just going to close this and move this out of the way. And so now on our other computer, our other laptop, uh, we can plug in our storage USB into this computer. Excuse me, I gotta switch hands. Plug this into our other computer. And then once it comes up, sorry, excuse the finger, I'm doing this one handed. Once it comes up, here is everything uh, that was you've transferred over. Now I've done this before, so that's what those were. Uh, AVG, and this was everything that was in that folder. Alright, um, uh, alright guys, thank you very much for watching, um, uh, this has been how to transfer files off of a dead PC without removing the hard drive or having another computer. Alright, peeps on 404 out. Peace.